Hello, welcome to Upa Excellence Tutorials. First of all, have you subscribed yet to the YouTube channel? If you have not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly do so. And don't forget to also click on the notification bell so that you should be among the first to get notified each time I upload new content. Well, at Upa Excellence Tutorials, we help students uh, in terms of tutoring students in uh, physics, in uh, chemistry, in mathematical methods, in uh, classical mechanics, linear, uh, linear algebra, and many other courses. So if you want a tutor or you want help in an assignment, you can get in touch with us and we'll be glad to help you and assist you. We also do uh, research consultant services. We do the uh, statistical data analysis and um, also proposal writing, thesis or dissertation writing. Okay, so today we'll be solving a ladder question or static equilibrium question uh, where um, it was sent to me uh, to help out by some students. Uh, and today I think we get to solve this question. So the question says, a ladder of length 3.0 meter with 8 rungs spaced 0.33 meter apart is leaning against a wall at an angle 58 degrees. Ignore the ladder's mass. A wall painter of mass uh, 85 kg is climbing the ladder. The coefficient of static friction between the rubber between the rubber feet of the ladder and the foot is 0.51. But assume that the wall is smooth and frictionless. Is the ladder safe for climbing for the painter as he ascends to the seventh rung of the ladder? Okay, so this is the question. And uh, today we are, I'm going to solve it uh, quite in a different way. Yeah, but I believe it's going to be to be understood on the approach that I'm going to take. Okay, so here is the approach that I'm going to take. The approach I'm going to take is to determine first at what point is this ladder going to begin to slip. Okay, because I know that the point that the ladder begins to slip, then it's not going to be safe for the painter. So I want to determine first at what point, at what length, okay, is, is it going to start slipping? Okay. So once I know that point, I'm going to also know that what length, at what length is the seventh run. Okay. The moment I know at the length from this point of the seventh run, because the seventh run is here, I will note the distance and compare with the distance at which the ladder is supposed to start slipping because uh, putting into consideration of that coefficient of friction or co uh, friction force. So, having said that, we get to also look at the forces on this system. So, we have already... This is the force, which happens to be the weight of the painter, mg. And then we also have the force here that the wall is exerting on the ladder. So I'll put this as Fw, meaning wall. And then we have also the normal force here from the ground pointing up or exiting on the ladder. And then, since if this ladder was to slip, it was going to move in that direction. So there is a friction force here. So the friction force is always opposing force. So we, we are going to have the friction force in that direction. Okay. So this is our friction force. So that is the, the, the forces, or those are the forces. And then let's do this. 
We also say that the length of the ladder, we are not going to put it as 3, but I'm just going to put it as L, because I just want to know also the fraction. And then I'm going to take that length of uh, the painter to be x. Okay, the length that the painter is going to take or to climb for it to begin sleeping. Okay. So, if that is the case, we also look at uh, what? We will need the distance for the, this force or this weight before we begin to solve. So, the distance, the perpendicular distance is actually x cos that angle, this distance here, okay? This is basically uh, simple trigonometry. So, that will be x cos 58 degrees, okay? And then this one, this distance also is going to be L sine 58 degrees. We need the, uh, that uh, distance as well, as we'll be dealing with torque. Okay. So, according to Newton, what we're going to have, we're going to start with the forces in the X, the horizontal forces in the X, and these forces, the summation of all these forces should be equal to zero, because this is static equilibrium. So, what are the forces in the X? In the X, we have the friction force, and this force here is opposite, so it's minus Fw equal to zero. So friction force is going to be equal to Fw. So that is uh, my equation one. And then I also have the summation of forces in the vertical. Now, in the vertical, the forces I have is basically this normal force minus the weight of the painter equal to zero. Because uh, remember that we've been told that uh, we should ignore the mass of the ladder. Okay. So we're going to have normal force being equal to mg. And that is uh, my equation two. So uh, I'm going to also make sure well, before I proceed to talk, that I establish the relation between these two equations. How am I going to establish the, the relation? I, we know that here there exists a friction force and we have the normal force. There's a relationship uh, where we have uh, friction force is equal to the coefficient of friction times the normal force. And the normal force here in this case we have established that is it actually mg. So we have friction force equal to this. Now remember that from equation one, we also have friction force equal to, equal to Fw. So we are going to have F equal to Fw as well. Or I'm going to say this. I'm going to say friction force is equal to Fw, which is equal to nu s. Mg. So that is my equation 3. Okay. So I'm going to raise here to create some space. Okay. So I'll go to talk. Now, I'm going to take this as my pivot point, at this uh, point here, the foot of the ladder. And if I take this point as my pivot point, what's going to happen is that uh, uh, these forces are not going to contribute any torque. Okay? They are going to, it's going to be zero. Or torque here at that point is equal to zero. So I'm just going to have this force and that force. So we're going to have times perpendicular distance. Now, the perpendicular distance of uh, this force is basically L 
sine 58 or the length of the ladder which looks like the hypotenuse times that angle. So I have L sine 58 minus this force which is going in the opposite direction uh, which is uh, mg and what is the distance? This is the distance that I had to establish area which is x cos 58 degrees. So x is just the distance that uh, this guy is going to cover uh, before um, the ladder begins to slip. Okay, so this should be equal to zero. So now, Fw, remember from equation three, using equation three. So if you are writing, you are going to have this as Fw. So we substitute where there is Fw with the new S mg l sine 58 and then since we have an equal sign here equal to zero i'm going to take this negative mgx cos 58x uh, degrees to the other side of which i'm going to have equal to mgx cos 58 degrees okay so we can see that mg and mg goes and then we are going to remain with the new s l sine 58 degrees equal to x cos 58 degrees okay so remember that um, we have this value we have this value uh, the coefficient which is 0 0.51 times sine 58 degrees times L equal to X cos 58 degrees. Okay. So now, I punch that on the calculator. I'm going to have 0 0.51 times sine 58 degrees. I'm going to have 0 0.4325 L equal to uh, cos 58 gives me 0.5299x. Okay, so that is what I have. And then I can write this in terms of fraction. X of L. Or maybe I just say, just say X equal to 0.4325L over 0 0.5299. Okay. So X is equal to 0. Point. I have 0 0.816L. Okay. So this means that uh, this is a, a, a ratio actually. This means that this ladder is going to begin to slip. Okay, it's going to begin slipping when the painter uh, covers um, at a 1.6% of the length of the ladder. This is what it means. Okay, the distance that this guy is going to cover is the ladder begins to slip. It's going to be at a 1.6% of the length of the ladder. Now, what is that length? Okay, what is that uh, distance? So, we just substitute. We know we've been given the length of the ladder is actually 3.0 meters. So, let's get to know the distance which uh, this guy is going to climb, which gives me 2.45 meters. Okay. So, this tells me that when he reaches 2.45 meters, this ladder is going to begin slipping. Then it's not going to be safe at that point, at this point, for this painter. So now, since we have found this, now we go back to the question and trying to relate with what is on the ladder. We've been told that each rung here is 0 0.5. 3, 3. Now, at what distance is the seventh rank? Okay? At what distance is the seventh rank? So, 
we know that this gives us um, the, the length of the ladder is 3 meters. Okay. So I'm going to divide 3 meters by 7. Okay. I'm going to divide 3 meters by 7. Is it by 7? Is it by 7? 8. Okay. We're told that it's 8 rungs. Huh? Okay. So it's 8 rungs. So at the 7th rung, how many meters is that? Okay. So what we're going to have is uh, 3 meters. So we are going to have that at the seventh rank, um, sorry, the seventh rank is going to be at a distance of 2.625 meters. Okay, it's going to be 2.65 uh, meters. Okay, so that is at that distance. So we are saying that this painter at the seventh rank would have covered it. 2.625 meters, which is just like 2.63 meters. Now, if you compare with the distance at which this ladder is going to start sleeping, it's less, okay, which is 2.45. Okay. So, meaning this guy is not going even to reach this far, which is the seventh uh, run. It's not going to reach that far. The seventh rank, which is 2.6 meters. So it's not going to be safe for this uh, uh, painter to be at the seventh rank or to reach 2.63 meters. Just a question, sir. How have you found the 2.625 meters? Okay, so we have, um, we are told that this, the total, the total, what's this? The total length of the ladder. Is uh, three meters. Yes. Okay. Total length is three meters, and then it has got eight rungs. Okay. Yes. The ladder has got eight rungs. So you just divide by eight rungs. Okay. And then you multiply by the seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very. Clear. So you get that. That will show you that that is uh, the distance at that. Why? We are not, mind you, we are told that these runs are separated by 0 0.33 meters. Okay? 0 0.33 meters. Now, we, uh, we are, have not used 0 0.33 meters because there will be some distance that is going to be left. Okay? Because if you, you can try, you just multiply maybe 0 0.33 times 8. You are not going to get 3 meters. You are going to get less. So where is going to be the other distance? So we can't get rid of that distance. So we've taken the whole lot of it. So we are going to have that. So it's not going to be safe for this guy to reach that uh, seventh rank. So you can even, if you want, you can even calculate at what uh, rank you have, uh, you would have covered the 2.45 meters. And then you'll be able to say, okay, at maybe fifth rank, I will, it's going to be safe for the painter. Otherwise, it's not safe. So this is the approach that I've taken to solve uh, this question. I hope uh, it is easy to understand because I say happiness is understanding physics. Absolutely. Thank you.